typical early morning in southern Thailand. Fishermen are out on boats, often before sunrise. A decent catch. Back on land and women are digging for shellfish during low tide. Once catches have been sorted out and any extras have been sold at the markets, preparations for dinner can be made. People here are intrinsically connected to the sea. Their lives depend on it. A key to happiness and life here is a healthy mangrove forest. Mangroves ensure the seas are rich and biodiverse. They provide essential goods and food for locals, and they also protect the land and coastal communities from rising sea levels and ever-increasing storms. Mangrove forests are one of the world's most threatened tropical ecosystems. Not understood nor protected, huge areas have been cleared to make way for urban and tourist developments and agricultural expansion. At least half of all mangrove forests in Thailand have been destroyed, most of it for intensive shrimp farming businesses. The steep decline of these habitats still continue today, with little responsibility taken for the protection of existing mangrove forests. Recent studies and recognition of their importance has brought mangroves forward into the limelight of marine conservation. And it's not just people in the tropics that benefit from these coastal forests. Mangroves serve as nurseries to a huge number of marine species and contribute to a significant part of our essential seafood resources all around the globe. Mangroves have also been found to sequester five times more carbon in its rich soils than tropical rainforests. Their important role in tackling climate change has resulted in increased global awareness and international support towards restoring and conserving these coastal forests. Mass planting projects have been very popular. However, the majority of seedlings die due to two main reasons, planting the wrong species in the wrong locations or because the socio-economic issues causing mangrove loss haven't been solved prior to restoration. Now we see many failed plantations uh, along the coast, uh, particularly on the mudflat areas. Planting alone, if you're successful, which rarely happens, you end up with a, a monoculture plantation, which is nothing like the original mangrove forest that existed before. One organization has taken on a more holistic method of restoration with much better results. It's called community-based ecological mangrove restoration. And the key to the success is learning from nature and collaborating with local communities. The Mangrove Action Project in Thailand has been able to demonstrate that their effective methods of mangrove restoration is in everyone's interests and eliminates the reasons for failure. One of our main uh, projects really is to show that the old abandoned shrimp ponds can be returned back to mangroves. So we have uh, now three, 13 sites along, along the Andaman coast implementing the community-based ecological mangrove restoration uh, method. These are all really quite small sites and our mission is basically to demonstrate the methodology showing that these ponds can be restored a lot of research and analysis is involved at the start of any project. Knowledge of the local species, the waterways and tides, the context, the communities, is all taken into consideration when developing a plan. Any site that has experienced mangrove loss and clearing will have had its natural systems and terrain affected. The waterways always need to be repaired and reconnected with surrounding areas, with adjustments made to the disturbed topography. This part of the project involves a lot of channel digging and earth shifting, and it's an opportunity for volunteers from around the world to lend the communities a helping hand. This method of restoration ensures that seeds and nutrients are naturally distributed and trees grow in their correct zones, guaranteeing richer biodiversity and a true natural mangrove forest with all the benefits. ครับพื้นที่ที่เราทําการฟื้นฟูเนี่ยการเปลี่ยนแปลงที่เห็นชัดเจนเนี่ยคือพันธุ์ไม้เนี่ยมันขึ้นหลากหลายขึ้นนะ
ก็เพิ่มมากขึ้นแล้วก็มีสัตว์น้ําพวกหอยกันแล้วก็หอยอหอยสันผานเข้ามาอยู่ชาวบ้านก็ได้ไปเก็บไปเป็นอาหารได้ด้วยครับหลกัหลกๆเลยเนี่ยก็เป็นแหล่งอนุบาลสัตว์น้ำนะครับเพื่อช่วยให้สัตว์น้ําเนี่ยเข้ามาอยู่อาศัยเพิ่มมากขึ้นซึ่งตัวนี้เห็นได้ชัดเจนจากที่ป่าสมบูรณ์ขึ้นเนี่ยสัตว์น้ําก็เข้ามาอยู่มากขึ้นเพิ่มขึ้นนะครับแล้วก็ถ้าเกิดว่าป่าสมบูรณ์เนี่ยทรัพยากรอย่างอื่นเนี่ยมันก็จะใช้สมบูรณ์ไปด้วยแล้วก็ชาวบ้านที่จะไปประกอบอาชีพต่างๆเนี่ยก็จะมีรายได้เพิ่มขึ้นจากที่ไปจับสัตว์น้ํา Monitoring and training workshops are held regularly with community members throughout the project to ensure a successful restoration whilst developing sustainable, locally-led conservation initiatives to benefit the communities and to take pressure off existing mangroves. This empowering process creates a sense of ownership. Every project outcome is different depending on the area, needs of the communities, and potential opportunities. The people of Nai Nang Village in Krabi Province have created a sustainable and positive model for the management of their mangroves. To support their restoration project, the villagers here formed an apiculture group and used bees to assist with the pollination of certain mangrove species. ก็ปรากฏว่าพึ่งเนี่ยก็เป็นส่วนหนึ่งในการที่จะไปกระยายพันธุ์ไปผสมเกสรให้กับพื้นที่ป่าชายเลนก็เลยลองมาเลือกดูพึ่งดูก็อยากใช้ส่วนหนึ่งก็อยากใช้พึ่งที่ที่เราเลี้ยงอยู่เนี่ยสามารถที่จะช่วยไปผสมเกียรสอนในพื้นที่ป่าจาเลนได้ด้วยแล้วก็ได้สร้างอาชีพได้สร้างรายได้ให้กับทางทีมานรักให้กับคนในชุมชนได้ด้วยถ้าหากว่าจะให้รวบรวมพันธุ์ไม้ในพื้นที่ป่าจาเลนที่พึ่งไปเอามาหารไปเอาน้ําหวานมาแล้วก็ผลิตเป็นน้ําหวานเนี่ยหลักๆเขาจะมีอยู่ในหลายชนิดหลายชนิดมากหนึ่งเนี่ยก็จะเป็นพวกตะบูลตะบูลขาวตะบูลดำแล้วก็มีพวกไอ้ต้นตาตุ่มมีเป้งนะครับมีไหวลิงอันนี้เป็นต้น The village now has more than 300 beehives and generates an alternative and sustainable income from the various honey products. With 10% of the profits going straight back into a community conservation fund, and their activities aren't going unnoticed, with neighboring communities interested in learning their new skills, and visitors coming from around the globe to see their project and buy their products. Sabu, mi sabu, mi champu, leka mi krim nuat sabu leu, leka ik tuang ka sabu ka ya mongki pung te patum ki pung yuk. ในในตัวของเขากันนั่นเลยก็ก็มาเลยอันตีบานเลยก็ไปจัดกว้างไกลว่าตีที่มานตีตาปอมโครงโครงน้ำมันได้เลยถึงขนาดตรงเทียจะใกล้ดีมากตอนนี้ We now recognize that a world without the rainforests by the sea wouldn't just mean a dismal scenario for coastal communities but would ultimately affect us all and our planet There is a growing urgency to increase the global area of mangrove forests, and we are seeing bigger, more ambitious projects to shift into a more positive direction globally. Much of it is about awareness and education, knowledge exchange, and bringing together partners for smarter, more effective solutions to mangrove conservation and recovery. Our message would be to look more closely at nature. And given the chance, nature can self-repair and restore itself much better than we could ever attempt to recreate it. We would love to see our methods of regeneration being implemented at a larger scale, so that mangroves have a better chance of survival and coastal people a brighter future.